So let's quickly get started with the paint app, right? I hope you all remember what we have uh, learned in the last session, right? Which is Doodle, correct? So we have created something like this kind of interface where um, you have erase all and then we have a canvas to draw, right? Now let's see how can we change or convert this app into a paint app, right? So paint in the sense you just have to be able to choose colors, isn't it? So let's see how, how can we do that, right? How can we just uh, add colors and uh, make it choose colors and then how can you paint with that color? So let's see all these things, okay? I'm quickly uh, like starting with this. So let's start off with adding a horizontal arrangement. So from layout, you can just get a horizontal arrangement and I'm dropping it on the top because I can get the colors from the top, right? So that's why. And then horizontal alignment, I'm changing it to center. Vertical, align vertical also to center. And um, I think this is all on the horizontal arrangement or with, yeah, fill parent, we can do this fill parent, right? Now, so after which we need uh, multiple buttons for this. So I'm quickly dragging a button one. So this thing, not button one, <laughs> yeah, this is button two. Uh, okay, let's not um, get into renaming part. I'm just removing the text on this button, okay? And I would give the color, color as blue color. Okay, now, so on this color, I would say sign. On this, I would say gray. On this button, let's say green. Let's say magenta. Orange, pink, red, yellow. I think these are the basic colors we have on MIT App Inventor, right? So let's uh, only do with these colors. If you want, you can absolutely add more and more colors. No restriction at all, right? So, but yeah, for now, I'm just adding these buttons, okay? So on the button one, this is gonna be a blue button. So I'm just renaming this as blue button, okay? And this button is gonna be cyan button. So let's re rename it as cyan. And this thing is gonna be gray button. So let's let's rename it as gray button and this one is green button so let's rename it as green button i'm just renaming these buttons so that it should be easy for us to code so that's the reason i'm doing this this is magenta next one would be orange orange next is pink pink next is red next one is yellow so yellow okay so we have all the buttons in place we have the complete design right so you have this design so when you click on this button blue then I should be able to draw it in blue. So then uh, if you click on cyan, you should be able to draw it with cyan color, gray color, black color. Oh, wait. So let's duplicate this thing. And let's give black color also because that's the default color, right? How can we avoid that? So let's rename it as black button. Okay, cool. So we have all these buttons now. Let's quickly see how to code them to give the thing, right? 
So let's quickly click on blocks. We already have these things in place, right? So as we have all these colors, let's see how to code for that, right? When blue button click, okay? So when blue button is clicked, we would just like to set canvas paint color, right? So let's say set canvas paint color to, so in colors, you can get the colors. Okay, so we want to set it to blue color. I'm just setting it to blue, right? Likewise, you can just uh, duplicate this. And uh, the next one is cyan. So let's choose cyan. So let's get this. Next button is uh, gray. Let's choose gray. Next button is green. Let's choose green. So the next button is magenta. Let's choose magenta. Next is orange. Let's choose orange. Next one is pink. Let's choose pink. Next one is red. Let's choose a red color. And last one is yellow let's choose yellow and we also should have one more right which is black color black button let's get black cool so we have all the colors set up now right so when blue button is clicked we are setting the canvas one paint color as blue so what will happen is when you start drawing the color of the line would be in blue color okay so likewise for cyan button it will be cyan and for all these colors it would be the respective color now so whenever you click on that respective button you would get the same color whatever we are trying to give over here okay so this is how it, it is gonna be okay now so uh, let's suppose if you just touch the screen or tap the screen okay then also if you want to do something then how would you do that okay so for that, we actually have a canvas event, which is touchdown, or you have touched. So what is the difference between a touchdown and touched thing is? So you can see that uh, when the user begins touching the canvas, right, places the finger on the canvas and leaves it there. So this will provide the X and Y position of the touch, right? So that's how uh, this is, uh, this will work, right? So when you just touch it and leave it, you will get the x and y values there if you want to do something you can use this touchdown okay and how about this touched right so when the user user touches the canvas and then immediately lifts his finger right provides the x and y values of the touch so that again is relative to the upper left of the canvas from the upper left of the canvas basically the top left corner is going to be the origin point of the canvas usually okay we'll discuss about it so touched any sprite is true if the same touch also touched a sprite and false otherwise, okay? That means if you touch any sprite, then you can actually use this thing. If not, this will become false, okay? So I will also explain you about this top left corner thing, basically. So this is our canvas, right? So on the top left corner over here, this is going to be origin point, which is 0, 0 point, okay? And towards right side, x-axis values will be there. And towards bottom, y-axis values will be there. Okay. So when I say y-axis, that just means that, um, so this is the uh, vertical axis. Okay. And this is going to be the horizontal axis, right? So this is 0, point, uh, 0, 0 point, right? Now towards right side, that means 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on like that. So this is going to increase basically towards right side x value increases towards bottom y value increases okay now 
so here it will be 10 20 30 40 and so on like that okay so let's suppose now if i want to plot a point in the middle okay so the canvas width is let's say 600 canvas height is also 600 so if i want to spot the middle point or midpoint then how would i do it so from 300 i would draw horizontal line then from 300 i would draw this vertical line and horizontal line so this would become 300 comma 300 point okay this would become 200 comma 200 100 comma 100 right so this would be 400 comma 400 500 and 600 last like this last corner point would be 600 comma 600 right so that's how the diagonal things would have the same values basically like this okay so and lastly this one okay that's how it works on the canvas right so towards right hand side the x value will increase and towards bottom the y value will increase okay so that's what relative to the top left of the canvas we are getting the positions whenever you touch on the canvas okay so that's what we were talking about over here now now uh what shall be the thing we have to use would be when canvas touched down right so when canvas touched down we, we will be getting this x and y values right so how do i use those x and y values now is to draw something to draw a shape maybe so uh, if you want to place some text you can also use draw text okay and uh, so if you want to draw a point so you can actually use this to draw a point right so basically it draws a point at the given coordinates let's suppose wherever you touch you just want to draw a point so get x and get y you can draw a point likewise you can do many other things not only this right so when touchdown draw point so you can do other things also if you want to do them right so this is about um, paint app right we'll also see how to execute this thing so let me just show that to you also um, maybe let's just uh, check out one more event here right so when canvas touched right let's say uh, i would want to draw a circle so you can also do this like i just wanted to show you how uh, how can you use these options basically right so when canvas touched again you are going to get x and y values right so let's get uh, get x and get y right and radius you can give any radius value so that big circle will be formed okay so if i just say like 10 so 10 will be the radius of the circle so the diameter would be 20 and the circle would draw would be like 20 pixel uh, of diameter okay and fill i'm just giving true so let it fill the circle right so wherever you touch it would fill the circle wherever you touch it would draw a point and then how, however you drag it so it would draw the line on the screen okay and when you touch i mean press the buttons blue button cyan button gray button so that's how you you will be getting the colors also right so this is all about the paint app let's quickly check out on the execution part i will um, I will open my MIT app in Venture on my phone. Let's see. Okay. So let me just. wow it looks so cool so many colors on the screen i'm just trying with blue color now cyan gray green magenta orange pink red yellow black wow wherever i touch it also it it just uh, creates a circle a black circle is created basically wow 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 it is also drawing the dots i 
I am impressed. Cool. So it has so many draw dots on the screen. I'm not sure of this uh, touch down thing because wherever I touch, it was not drawing a um, dot there for the touch down. It has to draw point at X and Y, right? So basically, it's not doing there, but it is doing some somewhere else. But wherever I touch, right, this touched thing is absolutely placing the do circle wherever I just touch the thing. I am not sure of this um, dots, the draw point thing. How does it work? Because uh, it's not placing wherever I am touching it. It's not placing there. Given coordinates of the canvas, right? So it's... However... This is so cool. I mean, I really like it. It's just doing the thing so well, so well. Absolutely cool. I must say this, absolutely cool. Okay. So you have to try this. Try it and do let me know what you have uh, created and implemented and how many colors you have used. I have used multiple and it looks amazing. I must say amazing. So I want you all to try this and do let me know how your app turned out to be and how did you enjoy creating this and uh, what is your experience in doing it. So it's a doodle come we can say paint app and you can erase everything whatever you're drawing. So this is going to be something very much fun to use. I, I really like this app. I, I, I must say that I really love this app. So do try everybody do try this thing okay and do let me know in the comment section below how did you all like it how's your design just show them right if you have used uh, any creative thing on it yeah do let me know about it okay and i'll be meeting you all in the next session thank you so much for watching this video please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks huh so i'll be meeting you all in the next session bye bye guys have a great day all